Hi there wonderful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Helen Birch, your go-to guide for all things sexual education, sexual freedom, coaching and much more. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share our content with your friends. Today we're diving into a topic that's often shrouded in mystery and stigma and we are going to be talking about sildenafil and tadalafil for erectile dysfunction. But before we get into that video, just to let you know that I have a free ebook out all about releasing your sexual shame. You can download it by using the link in the description box. But before we jump in and compare the medications, first of all, I just want us to understand how erections happen. Okay, first things first, let's talk about the process of getting an erection. It all starts with arousal. Whether it's something you see, smell, hear or feel, arousal triggers your body to release nitric oxide, which acts as the ignition for erections. When nitric oxide is released, it signals the release of chemical messengers like CG. MP, which relaxes and smooths the muscles of the penis, allowing blood to flow in and create a firm erection. But what happens when the erection starts to fade? Well, this happens when arousal fades, CGMP breaks down, or there is ejaculation, then your body's nervous system kicks in, causing the muscles to contract and the blood to flow out of the penis, resulting in a flaccid state. So now that we understand the basis, let's talk about Zaledophil, Tadlifil, Viagra and other medications. And these medications work by blocking the breakdown of CGMP, allowing for longer lasting erections. But before you reach for that little blue or yellow pill, there are a few things that you need to know. Common side effects of these medications include headaches, facial flushing, nasal congestion, heartburn and sometimes vision changes. But here is also the deal breaker. If you're taking nitrate medications for chest pain, then you must stay clear of ED pills. Mixing the two together can lead to dangerously low blood pressure. It's crucial to consult your doctor before starting any ED medication as certain drugs and health conditions can interact with them. Remember safety first and always seek medical professional advice. So I just want to also talk about some rare side effects. So while these are rare, serious side effects like Parapeism, where well, I am not a medical doctor by the way, um, is basically when an erection is lasting longer than four hours um, and it can also include hearing loss and that's why it's essential to use the medications responsibly and under med What are the origins of these pills? So they were originally made as a treatment for high blood pressure. So they were looking at clinical trials, looking to see if these medications would improve blood pressure. And what they found was that it didn't do anything for blood pressure, but in fact, people reported stronger and firmer erections. And that's so how Viagra was born. So specifically, we are talking about Zaledophil as it's the oldest medication available for erectile dysfunction. And so it has the longest data for accuracy and for its use. Now we're going to break down the difference between Sildenafil and Tadalafil. Um, okay, so they are similar in their outcomes for helping with erections, but they are very different. So um, Sildenafil is commonly known as Viagra, much easier to say, and it's the oldest ED medication. It's taken 30 minutes to an hour before intercourse on an empty stomach with its effects lasting for up to four hours. Viagra offers on-demand dosing and it comes in various strengths. 
um, this is a slight side effect because it does reduce um, spontaneity, meaning that you have to plan sex in. You also need to watch out for those high fat meals as this can reduce Viagra's effectiveness. Now on to Tiladophil. Tiladophil um, offers more flexibility. It can be taken 30 minutes to an hour before intercourse, regardless of food intake, and it does last up to 36 hours. This is also a low dose option for daily use, which is perfect for spontaneity. So which one is right for you? So studies have shown that Tadalafil users report higher treatment satisfaction and better relationship dynamics. But remember that individual preferences and needs may vary. And it also may be down to needing that higher dosage. Besides medications, there are other treatment options for erectile dysfunction, and these include suppositories, injections, vacuum devices, and even penile implants. Therapy and hypnotherapy are also used to address psychological causes of erectile dysfunction and also break that anxiety feedback loop. I do have a video talking about the benefits of hypnosis and therapy on erectile dysfunction and I will leave the link for that video somewhere here but if you are curious about these options for helping with erectile dysfunction then drop a comment below and I'll cover them in a future video. So that wraps up our guide today on erectile dysfunction pills. Remember that your sexual health matters and your sexual pleasure is also important. So make informed choices and prioritise your well-being. Don't forget to download my free ebook on releasing shame. It's an absolute game changer and I'll leave the link in the description box below. Until next time, stay curious and stay safe and thank you very much for watching. Bye bye for now.